Tonight, thousands of people in western South Dakota are dealing with active cases of COVID-19. As the number of cases and hospitalizations rises, the Monument Healthcare System is keeping very busy. Hospital staff in Rapid City are preparing the best they can for the next surge. Keller Land Sydney Thorson explains how the hospital is freeing up some space. This space was created during the hospital's recent construction in case of a major surge in COVID-19 cases. Right now, it's not being used by COVID patients. But we have been able to use this space, um, current state, for other patients that are not COVID to help support that COVID surge within the rest of our hospital. The 152 beds are spread throughout two wings here on the fourth floor at the Monument Health Hospital. And just two floors down is an additional 20 beds. We've done the best we could to make this a cozy private space while it is an open bay. Um, we have our oxygen, we have our suction, we have air, medical air if we need it. We've tried to mimic everything you would get in a regular room. Dr. Shankar Kara is the vice president of medical affairs at Monument Health. He says people need to be taking this pandemic seriously and mask up. Uh, we are prepared as we have been for several months now. We have a plan in place to accommodate and take care of our uh, community. Uh, what we don't want to see is overwhelming of the health system. Monument Health has had to maneuver and train current staff in order to run this area. They are also in the process of hiring more employees to manage the increasing demand. Uh, what we want to do is anticipate an increasing number for the next few months and that's why we are very concerned about the rising numbers, we are concerned about uh, what can we do and what can we advise our community to do to help us to manage those numbers. Dr. Kara says by masking up and limiting social gatherings, it's possible to see the number of cases decrease. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Monument Health returned to a no visitor policy earlier this week due to the increasing community transmission of COVID-19 in western South Dakota.